Let's take a look at machining 3D pockets using one CNC. Now in this tip of the day, I'm going to demonstrate how to efficiently machine fillets or valleys regardless of their size. Let's zoom in on this pocket. Let's head over here to our verify tools. I'm going to quickly verify this fillet right here. Now you can see that that has a radius of 200 thousandths. Well, what's interesting about that is I don't have a ball end mill that's 400 thousandths in diameter, and I don't have a bull nose tool that has a 200 thousandths fillet on it. So how am I going to machine this? Well, it's very simple using one CNC. I can use a smaller ball end mill and focus the tool path just on the fillets. We can accomplish this using valley machining. Let me demonstrate. Let's head over here to the main toolbar. Let's select our model tool paths and then select valley machining. What we're going to do now is select the size tool we want to use. In this example, I'm going to use a 1 8 inch diameter ball end mill. I'm going to say my speeds and feeds look fine. Also going to say my retract and plunge values look great. Let's click next on that. Now, my surface tolerance, I'm going to leave that at 2 tenths. And if we look down here, you can see that we can specify a maximum amount of radius to machine. So the largest fillet radius I want to machine, 200 thousandths. And that matches what we verified over here. For a step over, I'm going to use 30 thousandths. And for a number of step over, I'm going to use 5. That looks great. Let's click next on that. All this looks good. All I need to do now is just select my three boundaries. One, two, three, and then right hand mouse click. Now let's let one CNC generate the toolpath. There we go, the toolpath has been generated and it looks great. So using one CNC, you can efficiently machine valleys or fillets of any size using valley machining. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.